Well, there you are. I just did it. Mm. Raspberry lemonade. I put it in this glass because it's the same color. I figure, I don't know what I figure. Hey, it matches my shirt, I think. And I have all this. My grandmother always taught me to match things up. Mm. I don't think she was talking about what you're drinking. Anyway, hey, I did it. Wait a second. I went out. See? Right there. I voted. I voted in Chesapeake. <laughs> Wasn't much happening. You know, I was at the store. I was at my favorite shop. Oh, well, it's not my favorite. Yeah, it's my favorite shop. It's at the Tasty Distribution Shop. Always meet a lot of interesting people there. Some people down in Virginia Beach, they was voting. There was nothing to vote for. Everybody was like, there was nobody being contested or something like that. I forget what it was. Anyway, the Democratic people gave me this when I come in. They wanted me to vote for his, for State Senator Lionel something senior and for the House of Delegates, uh, Lennon Myers. That's the guy that came by the door. Good old Len. So I did vote for Len because he came by the door. But the this, this senior guy, right, he was running, he was, there was no Republican, there was an independent there. I don't know the politics, but I, I wrote in the independent. You know, I, I did the independent, not voting, I you know, did for the independent. I don't know who he is, so I was uninformed. He could be the worst person in the world, but since the Democrats were not have him anyway, I forgot to put a little drama there. Then they had to think for water commissioner. I didn't know about that. I should have did my research, so I didn't, I didn't want to vote there. And it was something else, too, or another unopposed person. So both the water person and the unopposed person, what I did, I wrote in ADOS. Why? Because I'm practicing. <laughs> Practicing. <laughs> There's a case I'm back here for the. I don't know when. When is the Virginia? I better find out when the Virginia. Yeah, I better find out when the Virginia. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, primary is because well, mm, I might be back in time for that because I think I'm coming back in April for six months. But that's not what I want to talk to you about. I'm working fever feverishly. I'm working on on the uh, audio drama we're going to do. And um, so, okay, my friends, <laughs> my special about who's, my, my, my theater, my theater partner, you know, David D. Wright, who we, we work on the Arisha Tales Repertory Radio Theater Company together. But anyway, they, my, they always know how to mess with, well, he knows how to mess with me. So, I, you know, not that I let him, but he just messes with me, right? So, he a series of emails said, well, What's the date again? No, what you say? What's the plan? Then, then another email. What's the date again? What's the date? And so finally, I knew what he was doing. I just kept on playing along. And I said, okay, fine. Okay, fine. So what he wanted really was a, a full spectrum thing of what's going on. You know, basically they want me to write the advertisement. Now this particular thing, the venue is, oh, the venue is big enough. Everybody's going to get all whatever out of shape. But my thing is like, hey, Somebody else's job to get the people out. No, no, I'm gonna have I have to have built-in audiences, you know, because it's two two college two university groups are coming because they this is a participatory audio drama. But, but in fact, let me just read the read the thing for you that I wrote. I should show it to you, but it's sort of spread out, you know, because because I'm actually not a well, I do poetry, but I'm not really a poet. I'm more like a wordsmith, right? I like to break things laid out. Or well, maybe I will read it to you, then I'll show it to you, right? Spread the word. Tell your peoples. Make a fun slash informative early evening of this. Then they have the name of the, the piece and then the divide information right there. Reparations for the autochthony. Saturday, 16 November 2019. Brooklyn Commons Cafe, 388 Atlantic Avenue near Bond Street. 2 p.m. for 4 p.m. start. Right? This is a live audio drama event produced by No More Radio in association with the Arisha Tales Repertory Radio Theater Company. Admission is free. Kindly bring enough money to support the Brooklyn Commons Cafe by purchasing your food and drink from their fine menu. And I have in quotes, I mean, in brackets. No outside food or beverage will be allowed for this event. And yes, as is a live audio drama tradition, there is essential audience participation. We will be streaming details to follow. Festivities 
end at 6 p.m. This is coming out in the email. Maybe everybody can sort of put it on their little social media, whatever happened, right? Close the subway stop, A train to Hoyt Skimmerhorn, then walk two blocks. Please save this email and send it to your circles a day or two before the event. For those who have participated previously in one of Anthony's productions, you already know it's going to be a hoot. Guaranteed. You want to see how it looks? Okay, I'll turn this over. Let me see. I'll show you how it looks on the paper. Just in case you're, you're wondering how I lay it out. Because I like the layout, you know? The layout is good to me. So let's go. Can y'all see that? You probably can. I don't even know why I did that. I don't even know why I did that. Whoops. Anyway, it's laid out on the paper somehow. Maybe at the top. Okay. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so I've been working on this thing, and uh, I'm happy the way it's turning out. It's going to be a uh, quite interesting. I can't get this thing to move. I just got something to move. Oh, it's the thing. Hey, excuse me, it's voting day. Y'all should be out voting anyway. Should be standing here listening to me. You know, well, it's voting in Virginia. I don't know where. Well, it's other people voting in other states. I hope you all are. I just want to see the top part. You should be out voting. And like I said, if nothing else, just practice, you know, writing in ADOS where you can. Okay, now see if you can see this. See the top there? What it says, the whole thing. See how that layout like that? Hmm? See, I like the layouts. So this is sending send the email, and I also have it on, uh, you know, whatever. So I might, uh, I don't have any money. Somebody want to make up I don't like I don't like cards. I don't think cards work. I mean, I just like word of mouth. So unless somebody somebody wants to make it up, because I ain't got the money to put out no flyers and stuff like that. Just the way it is. I'm a poor black man. You know, I gotta pinch my pennies. I live in Africa. It's nothing worse than a starving African American in Africa. I'm not starving. Okay, so that's it for me, T from the Patterson Take the Trenches, but letting you know what I only suspect here at a reality of the ADOS that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery. Go vote.